Hello and welcome to this video on how to run a random coefficient regression analysis in M+. My name is Christian Geiser. On this channel I present weekly statistics tutorials, usually related to structural equation modeling, latent class analysis, or multi-level analysis. If this is something that is of interest to you, then please subscribe to this channel. Also, please don't forget to hit the like button in case you like this video. In this video, I want to show you how you can run a random coefficient regression analysis when you have multi-level data, or nested data, as we say, in the m software. In this case, in this analysis, I have a simple bivariate regression model. I'm predicting a single variable from a single predictor variable, and I have a multi-level data structure where students are nested within classrooms. And so when we have something like that, then we typically have to take that nested structure into account to avoid problems in our statistical analyses. What problems could occur here? The problem is that students within the same classroom tend to be more similar to one another with regard to certain variables, for example, with regard to their performance on standardized tests, because they're exposed to the same environment, similar um, or the same teachers, they're in a similar class environment, they have the same peers, and so on. So we cannot simply ignore that dependency that might arise from being nested in uh, the same classroom or being in the same classroom. Whereas when we have a simple random sample where we just simply randomly sample individual cases from the population without um, a nested structure, without those individuals being nested within groups, then we don't have this issue. And so in another video, I showed how you can measure this dependency that arises from a clustered structure by looking at the intra-class correlation coefficient in M+. Um, please check out this video as well. It is linked in the description in case you haven't already seen it. So now in this case here, we want to address the nested structure in a bivariate regression model by allowing the regression coefficients to be uh, or allowing for variation in the regression coefficients across cluster. In other words, the intercept of this regression will be allowed to vary between school classes and also the slope of the regression line will be allowed to be different for different school classes. And that's why we call this a random coefficient regression analysis. You could also think of it as a two-level regression uh, model or a multi-level regression model where you have no predictors at level two and only a predictor at level one. So we're allowing for variation in the intercepts and slopes across level two, but we're not uh, adding any predictors for either the intercept or the slope. We could do that, of course, then we have a more complex um, multi-level uh, regression model. So let's go through this input file here so that you can see how a random coefficient regression analysis works in the m software. First of all, you can see that I added a define command here in which I, or which allows me to center predictor variables, which is an important step when you run multi-level regression analysis. And there's a lot of confusion and there's a lot of complication also involved in what kind of centering you should use. In this case, I centered my level one predictor here at the grand mean. Another option is group mean centering. Now, in this video, I'm not going to go into the details of what kind of centering you should use in which cases, but um, I'll make a separate video on that topic in the future. So in this case, I used grand mean centering. If you wanted to use group mean centering, so centering around the school class means, then you would just simply choose the option um, group mean instead of grand mean. You can see that I have two variables here that I picked from my names list. Math is a math test score variable that I'm using here as the dependent variable. KFT is a test score variable on a cognitive ability test. And so the idea here is to predict math performance from cognitive ability performance, thereby allowing for variation across school classes in the coefficients of this regression model. 
In M plus, whenever you run a multi-level analysis, you need a cluster variable that needs to be defined using the cluster statement. And in this case, this is my school class variable that tells M plus the nature of this nested structure here. Furthermore, I'm also defining KFT here as a within variable, meaning as a variable that is only relevant at level one in this particular model. So KFT is an individual level variable, not a level two predictor variable here in this case. And then I'm picking the analysis type two level random. Two level random is always needed in M plus whenever you have a two level multi-level model with random slopes. If you have only random intercepts, then you don't need to specify two-level random. You would simply specify type equals two-level. But here, since we're allowing both the intercept and the slope of the regression to vary across level two units, we are picking the option type two-level random. Otherwise, you couldn't specify a random slope, and then plus would give you a warning message. In the model statement in M+, whenever we define a multi-level model, a two-level model, we can specify a model for the within level. So this would be um, level one, the level within school classes. And then also for the between level or level two, that's the level of the school classes in this case. And so these keywords within and between, in uh, between those percentage signs, they allow us to specify separate models. And that holds true no matter whether you have a simple multi-level regression model or a multi-level path analysis or a multi-level structural equation modeling or factor analysis. You can always use these keywords within and between to specify separate models for, um, for the different levels. You can see that at the within level, there's just a single line of code where the latter part here might look familiar to you if you've already done uh, regression analyses, path analyses, or structural equation models in M+, then you know that we always use the on statement for a regression, where the dependent variable appears before the on statement and the independent or predictor variables appear after the on keyword. And so here math on KFT defines the level one regression of the math scores on the cognitive ability test scores. And then in this case, since it's a random coefficient regression, we are defining a random slope here before the on statement to let M plus know that the slope coefficient of this regression is supposed to vary across school classes. And so beta 1j is a label that I picked. I could have also just typed slope or something like that. So this is a label that you choose and then you use this vertical bar symbol here to indicate that this is a random slope regression. And that's all that M plus needs to know. It will then allow for variation of the slopes across um, level two units. If you left this out, then you would still have, so if you left this part out, you would still have a model with a random intercept coefficient, but not a random slope. The random intercept doesn't have to be requested specifically when you choose type equals two level, but the random slope has to be specifically mentioned and labeled so that you can use that label at level two as well to refer to that slope. And you can see that that is done here under the between keyword where we specify the covariance between the random intercept and the random slope. So by simply um, mentioning the name of the dependent variable here in the between level and using the with keyword for a covariance, we can allow the intercept and slope to be uh, correlated. And then we get the covariance between those two parameters as the default or not as the default, but as an output parameter in our model statement. So that's all you need for a random coefficient regression analysis. In a separate video, I'm going to go over the output that you obtain in M plus for such a random coefficient regression model to, so that you can see what parameters you obtain. And so this is 
the simple random coefficient model. Now, if you wanted to add predictor variables at level two, you could, of course, do that. You would add the predictors here in under use variables. You would also have a statement that says between equals under the variable statement to define the between level predictors, for example, teacher variables or classroom related variables. And then at the between level, you could include those um, to predict the intercept and slope. And then you would have a full multi-level regression model. I hope you found this video useful to learn a little bit more about how MPLUS handles multi-level analysis. Please don't forget to subscribe to this channel and to hit the like button. Also, check out the description for additional free videos and workshops. And I'll see you next time.